Hey guys, man, what's up? It's your guy Kamari, and it's your man right now. Um, <clears throat> I'm kind of going through it right now. Well, actually, I'm not going through it. Um, for about three months, I've been single. Uh, like I said, I don't, I don't share too much stuff like I used to on YouTube. But maybe that's kind of the reason why I lost a lot of my subscribers, I think. Or nobody hits me up with messages, I mean. Let me put this out there. The people who watch, I like to read comments. Okay. The, that's just a part of me. I like to read your comments. Because I like to interact. And I know if I don't get back to you guys, you get bored and the videos be like hella long. I just, I have a lot of things that I'll be needing to say and want to say, but I don't say them because I don't know how to put it into form, you know, so it don't take a long time to make a video. So I'm working on that. I've been working on that for a little while. <clears throat> and working on me. But... I guess basically I, I'll give you an update on me lately. Uh, I'm current, like I said, I've been currently single for the last three months. So my ex, the girl y'all told me not to go back to, and the girl that's been in the videos and all that, I confess, I did try to, um, and she did. She cheated on me with my um, roommate. So I know I'm going to get some feedback from this. But yeah, she cheated on me with my roommate. Um, not once, but twice. I walked in the second time when she cheated. I, like, I didn't see them, but I could hear. I could hear her having sex with him. And, um... <clears throat> And it's crazy because she was like giving me a hard time and talking about um, telling me I wasn't man enough and I don't know. It's like it kind of pisses me off a little bit because it's kind of disrespecting me of the man I am. And you to tell me I'm not man enough again or um, that and then you tell me that you might be bisexual. Okay, I could take that you say you're bisexual, but you couldn't take me telling you I'm going to go ahead and completely transition completely. Like, I already got downstairs. I want to go ahead and make everything match. And you could not take that little bit of information. Like, I went to H.E. Hockey Sticks for like freaking three years of our relationship she kept throwing that in my face. You can you didn't tell me you was trans right off the bat. You didn't tell there's a couple of videos if you go back, y'all should remember, you know, a couple of videos. But she was giving me a freaking hard time about that. I mean, you didn't tell me you was trans, but oh you just now tell me after seven years of being with you you're um you're bisexual. You know, and I, I, I didn't have a problem with the bisexual part. It's the part that he, she fucked my roommate twice behind my back. Like, she cheated on me when I was at work. And I'm supposed to be okay and okay with it. And I guess, you know, shame on her before, before me once. Shame on me before me twice. And, you know, I just, I'm done with it. I'm not going to let you get me a third time. And then you're not the woman I thought you would be because, you know, if you was a woman, you would respect and stand by your man, not sleep with your man's best friend. I mean, the guy she slept with, like, he's not even, like, high-level standards. He's nothing like me. If I show, make a video and put him in it, he is nothing like me. He don't care about his hygiene. He don't care about how he looks. He's very, I mean, really. He is nothing like me. But, you know, he's grungy, kind of caveman looking. And, uh, it's, it's just, uh, crazy, you know. 
that you think you know people, but then you really find out you don't really know them at all. Especially even after seven years, you, you think you know somebody, but then you just don't know them at all. But yeah, she cheated on me with, with my with the guy, and then this weird part, like we became friends, and he was talking about y'all should get back together and all that, and I'm like, man, you know, already slept with her. You know, how are you gonna you slept with her while I was at work? Both of y'all wrong, and then you talking about I should take her back? Why? So you can sleep with her again, and then I have that on my conscience and want to kill y'all. You know, so. It's crazy, but think about before you get in relationships, man. You don't really know, and even though you think you know, you really don't know. I thought I knew, and look what happened to me. And this is the same person. It's like, I don't understand women that would say they want a good one, a good man, or a good woman. And you dog them and treat them like crap. It's just... It don't make any sense. And now she's like thinking I'm in this triangle between her trying to choose if she want to be with him. And that's the fucked up part. Like, she's been with me seven years, but she's trying to figure out if she want to be with him and me. And I was like, I'm done with it, man. I didn't already start talking to somebody here. <laughs> so I just walked away. You know, just walk away from the situation. Somebody try to don't, don't make you a priority. If they're not making you a priority and just only making you an option, it's not even worth it. You fucking deal with it. Just walk away. Because you're worth more. Alright? This is your name. Mark. Come on.